ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest show in sports, especially during a pandemic, it's Tom Love Break. Just past 9 p.m. in the east, 6 p.m. in the west, and 8 p.m. in the beautiful city of Arkansas, home of Tom. It's Sunday, September 6th. The year 2020, and the big show starts now. All right, high five. Yes, nailed it. Russian. That'll work. Jay Qua, what's going on, buddy? Kyle's in the chat. Jeremy's here. He is a good little chomper. He's uh, practicing to take over my show. I see Jayqua, I see Kyle, I see Jeremy. What's going on, everybody? There's our commissioner. And there's Steve P. There we go. What's up, Steve? Oh, I got you, Jeremy. <laughs> chomper, chomper. It's all good. I knew what you meant. <laughs> Welcome to everyone just joining in. Welcome to the best trash show on the web. And with that, we say hello and good evening, friends. Welcome to Chomps Live Breaks where every show is unique and you the team owners are the stars of the show my name is chomps i will be your host and commissioner this evening over these proceedings so nice to have you all aboard welcome to the 2020 tops archive show we are going to do five glorious boxes of this product tonight that's right it is a half k show so those of you worried about ebay's new rules will i get a card yes you will get a card. You will get lots of cards. You will get lots of the same cards. And I'm hoping that you guys get what you're looking for. Your big rookies, your parallels, and maybe even an auto or two. We're going to see two autographs a box. I'm from Arkansas, so that's uh, I don't do good at math, but I think that's 10. And we are excited to get right into this thing. After this show, we are going to continue on with our celebration of 2020 Bowman Chrome, soon to be released, by uh, doing some 2019 Bowman Chrome. We're going to revisit last year's product. We already did one third case break. That's four boxes. We've got eight more boxes in this case. We're going to do four more tonight. And we are looking for the big stuff. Crazy Carl with a $5 super chat says, looking for some Jose Urania fire. That is the first and only time someone may ever utter those words. Carl has made history tonight. Thank you, Crazy Carl. A uh, couple of uh, little program notes. Really just one. Tomorrow is a big day, of course, being a holiday, being Labor Day. I hope so many of you have the day off and that you've got great things planned with your families. Uh, but I'll tell you, we're going to go live a little earlier tomorrow. The first flagship show is at 9.30, but we're going to go live at 7. Uh, this is Central Time, 7 p.m. Central Time. Uh, and what we're going to do is the first ever non-baseball feeding frenzy. You guys know we've been dipping our toe in the water a little bit with some of the basketball product. We've been doing some retail packs and whatnot. Uh, I loaded up on some uh, basketball, I loaded up on some football, and uh, we're just going to try it. Uh, you know, there comes a point we're going to have to get into other sports. Never, ever, ever will I uh, turn our back on our baseball crowd. That's my, uh, 
that's my number one sport. That's my number one passion. We're going to continue with the shows as you know them. But uh, we're also going to start mixing in some of these other sports. Probably more football when we get into the flagship. But we want to still offer some basketball and uh, football options in a frenzy format. So we're going to try something a little different. Uh, those of you that can jump on tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. in the East, we are going to have about two hours, two hours and 15 minutes of a frenzy where you guys can jump in on basketball and football products. So be watching for the Facebook post on that. Very excited to get into that, and uh, we'll see how it goes. That's all we can do. See uh, what of our baseball base is interested in this stuff, and of course I think we'll grab some new folks along the way that realize we're doing some other things. So very excited. Uh, happy holiday weekend to you. And hope you have a, a great day planned for tomorrow. Should be a lot of fun. Well, let's go ahead and dive right into our starting lineups. Who'd you draft? Who you looking for? Bratney's in the chat. Tony's in the chat. Yeah, who'd you draft? Who you looking for? What are you looking for? 2020 Tops Archives. We've got first team up, Arizona Diamondbacks, drafted by Benjamin O. Sam P's on the Atlanta Braves. Matthew H has the Orioles. Mark M is back on the Red Sox. Dean's got his Cubs. Tony in the chat's got the Cincinnati Reds. George S has the Cleveland Indians. Our Cassie's back. Cassie's got the Colorado Rockies. Andrew P stepping up on the Chicago White Sox. Yeah, Kyle. I don't know. My color printer just took a took a crash. I, I don't know. We're going black and white for now. Yeah, go fund me for Color Ink, right? A new Patreon level, maybe. Detroit Tiger, Jeffrey T. Crazy Carl with the Miami Marlins and the Super Chat. Thank you, Carl. Brian S. with the Houston Astros. Christian Yu is back on the Kansas City Royals. Cody C., what's going on, Cody? You've got your halos, my halos, our halos. We're in this together. Let's make this happen. Andrew P. on the Dodgers. Steve P.'s on the Brew Crew. Crazy Carl with the Super Chat and the Minnesota Twins as a bonus. Thomas S. with the New York Metropolitans. David R. has got the New York Yankees. Oh, Jay Qua. He's got the Oakland A's and bonus Mr. Spiffy support. That's right, Jay Qua. It's never a bad thing. Good luck to the A's and good luck to Jay Qua. John Crux got the Philadelphia Phillies. Christian Yu on the Pirates. Jeremy G's back. He's got the Friars. Those pod squads. Good luck to you, Jeremy. Tony C on the Mariners. Dustin C's got the Giants. Those Bay Area boys. Mr. Four Killer is back. Yes, he's got his Subway sandwich in hand, ready to watch the flagship show. And he's ready for me to pull the Cardinals fire. Good luck to you, Lawrence. Cody C's got the Tampa Bay Rays and the Texas Rangers. Scott A, what's up, Scott? You've got the Toronto Blue Jays. Want to see maybe some Bo Bichette fire? And is this not the product with the uh, with the uh, side chick card? I, I think it is. The Vladdy and Bo Bichette, uh, best friends, lovers and friends card. And Matthew H has got the world reigning champion, Washington Nationals and bonus Montreal Expos. Should they show themselves? There we go, yeah. Brian says the show sheet's numbered to 50. I don't know. Can you even read that? It's in black and white. Yeah, Kyle, it's the bromance card. Lovers and friends. What's wrong with that? Let me get this set up to where I can read it later. There we go. Man, I hope you guys have had a great weekend. And again, I hope it's a long weekend for a lot of you. Most of you. I hope it's a long weekend for all of you. We are going to crack a new case of 2020 Topps Archives Baseball. And we're going to now observe the greatest sound in sports card breaking. Yes, it's the sound of a new case being opened. So I'm going to mute the music for now so we can uh, get into this. I ask now that you please rise and remove your caps for the unveiling of a new case. Enjoy, everybody.
Ah, yes, that case rip was brought to you by the only sponsor of the Hashtag Trash Show. Nobody else wants to sponsor us, and can you blame them? That's right, it's the Chomps Approved Sports Card Community on Facebook. The greatest buy, sell, trade group on the web, I'm convinced. I've seen a lot of other ones uh, lately. Can I just say they're not as good as ours? Mr. Spiffy is the commissioner of that as well, and he has now dropped the link. Oh, and there goes, I don't know, everything. There goes everything. I'm going to spill my water here. Let's not do that. I got to hydrate for this show. Got to make sure and be hydrated. Spilled a little water. Want to make sure that's cleaned up. Trash show at its best. David says he prefers the sound of a freshly opened case of Twinkies. Well, you must be my spirit animal, sir. Because I'm right there with you. Do they even make those anymore? Did I hear a rumor that those things are no more? Yes, and big news, unfortunately. Not the news that anybody wants to see or read about. The great Lou Brock has passed away today. Rest in peace, Lou. One of the greatest of all time. Of course, everyone has uh, has their day. You just hate when uh, when you see it. You hate when you see it with anybody. And uh, a baseball legend is now gone. So, um, yeah, keep his, uh, keep his family in your thoughts and prayers. It's terrible. Mr. Four Killer, I've done it one time where I opened it from the bottom, and it was excellent. And yet, for some reason, I can never remember to do it. Trash show. Let's not forget. Oh, they are making Twinkies, Spiff? Okay, good to know. Good to know. Okay, well, uh, we've got a we've got a full case right here. That's 10 boxes. We're going to do half this case. So quite simply, we're going to roll dice to see what side you get. We will control, uh, this dice roll will control not only your fate, but the fate of the second Archives half case show. If we roll an even number, we're going to keep the left side. If we roll an odd number, we're going to keep the right side. Simple as that. Got my kids' uh, Yahtzee dice here. Hope they don't want to play Yahtzee anymore. Let's go with the roll. Good luck, everybody. Well, that's a number one. Very nice. It's going to be an odd number. We're going to keep the right side. Normally, I roll those even numbers. Five glorious boxes. Two autos per box. And they are on card. It's a very deep auto checklist. So, at times... You're going to see big names. We pulled uh, John Smoltz. Uh, Jayqua, didn't we pull another big player? I don't know if uh, if that Trout guy is any good. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. Uh, I've never heard of her. Uh, I just hope she can play. Uh, Mike Trout Auto has been pulled out of these on our show. The proud owner is Jayqua with one of my favorite pictures ever. Him holding up his card. Big smile on his face. That was for his 11th birthday show. He pulled the trout. So you can definitely get some monsters in this product. You will also see the Tom Hinkies and Bob Wickmans. Okay? Don't get Tom Hinky. Okay? It can happen. Spiff, you like the Tom Hinkies and Bob Wickmans. I do too to a point. Okay? But I would like to see some of that, you know, Smoltz trout type fire tonight. That'd be great. Commissioner Spiffy makes a great point. We do need an autographed picture of Jayqua holding the trout for the Chomps Wall of Fame. Which will be constructed soon, by the way. Hey, Henry's in the chat. What's going on, Henry? Good to see you. Oh, yeah, Blue Moon Odom is in this. You're right, Eli. Good to see you. Well, I didn't put an offer in for the trout, Kyle, because I know what Jayqua's plans are for it. He's going to hang on to it uh, for college money, which is amazing. I just asked Jayqua, I said, hey, when you want to sell it, you come see Chomps first. We get toppers, little mini posters in every box. Mr. Smile is the first one. Frankie Lindor, really cool. George S., you've got this Frankie Lindor, Mr. Smile poster. Steve said he loves Bob Wickman. He was missing a piece from one of his fingers. Couldn't throw the ball straight if he wanted to. 
I'm probably going to lose some of my finger at some point. But that's going to be from, uh, you know, opening up some Twinkies wrong or something. Using my cutter. Don't judge me. I'm chunky but funky, okay? Spiff likes how, uh, you know, Mr. Smile's down with the Aqua Fresh toothpaste. And pearly whites, bud. <laughs> Bradney says it'll be from hitting the max button too hard. Ah, I do I do like the occasional slot machine. I haven't been in a little while though. Kind of having withdrawals. Josh G says, "Show us your hits." I like it. I like it. What do you say we get started? Three different years of cards are uh, kind of um, commemorated, I guess, in this set. We get started with Andy Pettit. Logan Allen, rookie. How about a Yordan right out the gate? Houston and Brian S. You've got the Yordan, rookie. Burke, Blackman. There's a nice Ryan Sandberg there. Dansby and Nelson Cruz. Let's get this uh, Yordan sleeved up. Mr. Fourkiller asks, is Cat getting a well-deserved cat nap? I do think so. Uh, no, actually, he's not. Wait, he left here at like uh, 6 in the morning. This, this morning, from the all-night frenzy that we had. And uh, then he had to be on the ambulance at 10. So, uh, yeah, probably not. Pro maybe he snuck in a couple hours, possibly. But no, Catholic Meow uh, is probably, once he finally goes to sleep, he will have been up for the better part of three days, assuming there was a couple hours of sleep in there. And uh, he's probably going to siesta for a good long time, I think. Trev says, Huff and Puff dreams all night. Yeah, Huff and Puff, one of my favorite slot machines. You know what's up, Trev. How about the Jackie Robinson? Beautiful card there for the Dodgers. Dodgers, that's Andrew P. Justin Dunn, just in time. Justin Dunn, rookie. On the 55, Dave Winfield and Sandy Alcantara. Giddy's looking for that Jim Abbott dual hand auto. That's going to be an error. It's going to be an error card. Well, have no fear, Trev. He only has to drive the ambulance, not work in the back. Oh, wait, that's almost worse, huh? Monty Irvin. We've got a gray border parallel. Juan gone. Juan Gonzalez. Texas Rangers and Cody Cooper. Nice gray border there. And you will see a serial number here at the bottom right. That is 24 of only 99 for the Juan gone. That is awesome. Congratulations on this one, Cody. You have our first serial numbered parallel of the night. Long gone to 99. Frank Robinson and Randy Johnson. Kitty, what's uh, Stevie Wonder doing tonight? What's uh, Helen Keller doing? The Big Hurt? Top of Fonder. What's all, what's all of our friends out doing tonight? Spiffy with the Spiffopedia Research says, Dunn is having a solid little season. ERA's a little high, but he's doing okay. Hey, Spiff, speaking to you, how about a Ramon Laureano for Jayqua? Pretty nice. We've got a Polar Bear card. This is actually a card you can find in the uh, the mini posters. Maybe we can see one of these posters tonight. Pete Alonzo, the Polar Bear, New York Mets. Thomas S. What a great set to collect this is. You got to put it right up there with the Heritage and Gypsy Queens. Giddy says, Helen and Stevie went bird watching. <laughs> oh, I love this crew. Never know what you're going to see or hear. Dion Sanders. How about a Bo Bichette? It's not the side chick card, but it is the side chick himself. Bo Bichette. Printing bows, Toronto Blue Jays, and Scott A. With your first Bo Bichette of the night. Likely not your last. Some like to throw bows. We like to print bows, sleeve po bows, and every once in a while, top load those bows. We've got an Ernie Banks, Mr. Sunshine, with the little cub. That is probably the cutest card in the set. Yes, I said cute. Probably the cutest. Who doesn't like the, the little cub there with, with Ernie Banks? Trevor Run says, we uh, just won't see or hear from Cascade ever again after last night. No, we messaged each other back and forth, actually, after the show. He seemed cool at first, but flipped that's all right it happens zach collins rookie on the 55 ty cobb and willie mccovey nice mix of 
today players and yester legends Tim Hudson Sean Murphy we've got our first auto did I not call this out at the start did I not say that you can get Tom Hankey or Bob Wickman did I not say that I, I just I feel like Nostradamus in a bad way right now Toronto Blue Jays and Scott A you've got the Tom Hankey on card auto it does look like it's a parallel it is numbered 111 of 150 on the Tom Hinkie. Didn't you say Spiff Hinkie was a closer? I know Wickman was. Hinkie was actually a pretty good closer back in the day. Scott, you have got our first auto of the evening. As I mentioned before, you're going to see some of this. It's a very deep auto checklist. But these are a lot of players that we grew up watching too, so it's not all bad. Some of these players are going to be, um, you know, may not a huge value on eBay, but look, uh, there's, most of us don't even do eBay that much, right? I only do eBay if it's some huge card that, like, you feel like is only going to be hot for seven seconds and you better sell it now. Most of us, I think, PC these cards. So I like this set because when you start seeing some of those players you grew up watching, uh, it's pretty cool to pull autos from them because you're just not going to see that. In other, in other sets nowadays, right? We got Angels Elite, Trout, and Otani. It's a random goat sighting. Spiff tells us Tom Hinkie's part of the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame. His number, 642 games pitched, 41 and 42 with the record. ERA of only 267, that's good. 861 strikeouts and over 300 saves. Solid ball player, Tom Hinkie. There is Bratney's favorite player. That is the George Solar. Spiffy's been working on the new award for the end of the show. The Bratney's George Solar Never Heard of Her Award. Here's the card I was also referring to. Bo Bichette and Vladdy Guerrero. Scott, these are going to come out to you tonight. We hope to see at least one per box. Or you may never want to see another one again. I don't know. First time we pulled it, we said... Um, what uh, what woman is Vladdy cozying up to? Oh, man, that's Bo Bichette. So uh, this is the Lovers and Friends card. This is the Vlad Guerrero side chick card with Bo Bichette. Number one for Scott. Infamous at Chomps now, that particular card. Scott says it's kind of creepy, and I kind of agree. He's got... Uh, Bo seems like he just used that nice... Uh, you know, anti-dandruff shampoo, you know, uh, maybe a little conditioner in that hair. Maybe just had a perm. Oh, Christian says Brokeback Mountain. Vladdy says, I just can't quit you, Bo. Something like that. Uh, the hair looks real soft, though. Just saying. Oh, we, uh, we love that card in a creepy way, the same way I love my creepy negative refractors out of Topps Chrome. There's a random goat sighting. <laughs> Mike Trout, Cody C, our Halos. You got that first Trout base. How about another set of Aquino rookie for the Cincinnati Reds and Tony C. Nice Aquino rookie. That baby sleeved up for you, Tony. Thank you all so much for watching the show tonight. Hopefully you've enjoyed a little uh, Catholomeow action the last two nights. I couldn't stay away. Technically, I was off, but I wasn't. I was in this room more often than I was not. And I was very excited to get back into the hot seat and break some cards for you cool cats and kittens tonight. Nice Hank Aaron there. Atlanta Braves. That's going to be Sam P. Nice Tatis there. Second year Fernando Tatis. And an Escobar. Ciceno says, where the heck is MJ? I don't know. Thank you, Kyle, for jumping in on the treasurer duties. We love MJ, but he's been slacking on the treasurer duties lately. We may need to uh, do a little swap. See if one of you guys are crazy enough to want to commit to uh, being a, uh, a treasurer for us. Ken Griffey Jr., Paul Mahler.
Yeah, it's a Sinnoh. I gave him a raise. I gave him a, I gave him a 50% raise. 50% raise in one of these shows. Now, 50% of zero is still zero. But it was a 50% raise. And this is how he repays me. Oh, we've got a numbered parallel. Check this out. George Kell, Detroit Tigers. On the red border. 23 of only 75. Detroit, Jeffrey T. What a cool card this is. I think this one's got to catch a top load. On the George Kell to 75. Love this red border. Yeah, Mr. Four Killer says, good to see Poopalicious last night. He may even make another appearance tonight, I'm not sure. He doesn't want to pull the all-nighter again, he said. Because he's scared. And he values sleep more than I do, and Catholomia does. But I'll tell you, Poop has been a tremendous addition to the program. I was asked today, I think it was uh, Sam had sent me a message and said, hey, is Poop going to become a regular breaker here? Because he does a great job. There's a Kyle Lewis rookie. First Kyle rookie of the night, Seattle, Tony C. Very nice. Love it. And, uh, you know, I, I responded to Sam with, I I'd be crazy not to put him into this rotation because he's doing a great job. Definitely exceeded expectations. You guys seem to love him. I love him. Cat loves him. He's a, Not just because he's our brother. He's hilarious and he's fun to break with. Yeah, uh, Spiff, we are the definition of growing pains right now. Which is which is great, actually. El Mago, that's an insert. Javi, Javi Baez on the nicknames there. John Smoltz and Daniel Vogelbach. Yeah, Sassino says, guess there's no more waking up with chomps. You know what? We started doing that before the frenzies were a thing. And so I'd get done with the show at midnight, one in the morning. It wasn't hard to get up for a 10 o'clock show uh, Sunday morning. But now that we frenzy until 5 in the morning, 6 in the morning, 4 in the morning, um, it almost doesn't even really make sense. So now if you want to wake up with chomps, just log on when you get up. We're probably still on there. There's the Mr. Smile card, Cleveland Indians. You got the mini poster, and now you have the nickname card. Frankie Lindor, that's George S. Nice card there. Jeff Bagwell and Willie Stargell. Yeah, it's really nice to have poop on the show. And as we continue to grow, I will share this with you guys. Last night, we did break uh, our own record, break Broker Chomps record, of uh, most boxes sold in one night during a frenzy. You know, our frenzies, uh, we used to get real excited at uh, at 10. And that's great. You sell 10 boxes, that's great. I'm going to pause that thought because I think we have a hit. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. No more Tom Hinkies, please. I know I said you can get Hinkied and, and Wickman, but can we not Can we not have any more of that? Uh, sorry, Scott. I mean, I know this is your Blue Jays. Two, two is probably enough, Scott. I'm sure you'd agree. Can we, can we not do uh, Hinky again? And what's a little weird about this is I didn't open up more than one box. You know, sometimes we open up like two at a time or three at a time. That was one box. So in a weird way, I'm glad because um, if you're, you and your son or something went to the card shop and you bought this box, right? And you pulled two Tom Hinkies. I don't know. Would you be excited about that? No, I don't think so. I don't think you would. That's the haul. Yeah, start the rainbow, Scott. You may as well go after the rest of them. I just lost all the archives base cards. Hang on. So I have spilt water, thankfully, before we had cards on the table. I have lost the base cards. What, what, you know? Is this not what you expect out of me? I I'm not even going to apologize anymore. Like, if this doesn't happen, this isn't a chomp show. Next, we'll be knocking over the camera. I'm going to try not to do that, too. Yeah, strongly worded letter to Tops. You never know what you're going to see out of this stuff. Yeah, we pulled a uh, Tom Hankey and uh, decided to give it to Spiffy because he said, Oh, number one, I know who she is. Oh, okay, great. So we decided that that card should go to Spiffy. Yeah. 
Yeah, hashtag trash show. Well, you got two Tom Hankies. That's pretty cool, I guess. Yoshi Sutsugo, Tampa Bay Rays. Four more packs here in uh, box number one. And then hopefully we get on to autos that are not Tom Hankey. I don't know. Hey, we got a first Lou Bob sighting. Chicago White Sox, Andrew P. You've got the Lou Bob base rookie. Congratulations on this one. Yes, Poop did join the big boy breaks. Bought into a divisional break of Sapphire and Finest Flashbacks. And uh, he got the auto out of Sapphire. That was Robert Poisson. And then he pulled, uh, believe it or not, value-wise right now, an even bigger card out of Finest Flashbacks. Pulled the uh, the gold refractor Kailu. It wasn't even an auto. Just the gold refractor because that's such an expensive product, expensive set. One numbered refractor per box. Uh, that card was between three fifty and four hundred dollars. So our little poopykins did pretty good on that. Yeah, he got the Poisson Auto, and guess what? He sold it to me. I needed it. I wanted it. I had to have it. It's one of the nice things about being in the hot seat. You see cards you like, you can make offers. Speaking of Kylo, we got our another Kylo here. Seattle Mariners and Tony C. Nice Kyle Lewis base rookie card here. Four Killer reminds us Lou Brock is from Arkansas. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Can't remember what part, but I know that he is from Arkansas. He's a Lazardo rookie. He did give me a nice discount. We looked at comps, and uh, so that he wouldn't have to mess with eBay and the fees and. Uh, possibly not getting paid or getting paid and then someone wanting a refund blah 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 you know that's uh it's not always fun to be a seller on ebay aj puck there we go oakland a's and jay qua we got our first puck tonight oh eldorado okay eldorado nice eldorado home of lou brock i remember that now now that you say that i know i've driven through there and i believe there's a sign up nice aj puck way to go jay qua had to wait till the end of the box to get one, but we got your first puck. Let me move what's left of these base cards into this box here. And let's get started with box number two of five. Hour and a half until the uh, next show. It's going to be the 2019 Bowman Chrome show. Bidding, I imagine, is going on now, right? Or just started. How about this one? The uh, mini poster, Air Yordan. Air Yordan has been uh, grounded for takeoff. Kyle tells us the Boston Red Sox closing now. Get your teams. And correct me if I'm wrong. I didn't see the whole show. I just saw the recap. I didn't see any of the big rookie autos pulled out of 2019 Bowman Chrome. You guys correct me if I'm wrong, but I didn't see any of the big hitters. And so out of a full case, you hope to see some of that stuff. And we'll get into the second of the three case, the, the one-third case break tonight. Get those teams in. <laughs> get your teams from MJ. Kyle channeling his best MJ. MJ put a nice picture on Facebook today. Him and his wife, the, uh, the wedding. Five-year anniversary they just had. Congratulations. I don't think he's watching or he would have jumped in, but that's all right. Logan Allen, check this out. We've got our first mini card of the night. Jayqua, you've seen one of these before. Frankie Lindor, look at this little card. Bratney likes these, they're cute, she says. Nice Frankie Lindor. Little eeny teeny weeny card. Actually, we're having a nice uh, Frankie Lindor night. Already getting the mini poster, the nickname card, and now the mini. Nice start for George S. and his Cleveland Indians. I'm going to top load this mini. I think they make uh, mini card sleeves, right? I, it's a trash show, so I don't have those. I'm just going to take it like this. Mr. Smile, definitely having a good night so far. Nice. 
Cute like Cascade play it. <laughs> On opposite day. Adrian Moron with a J. Sam Hilliard rookie. For the greater good, it's greater all. Bruce Dark Terrell, Dodgers. Brantley asks if I'm flying solo tonight. I don't know. I think I think Poop may join me at some point. I just know he's not going to do the all-nighter thing, he said. Rookie. Although, in fairness, I do get to sleep all day. Because I'm a man of the night. Michael Baez. Nico Horner. How about the Babe Ruth? Check that out. New York Yankees, David R. That is a beautiful card. The Babe loved his hot dogs and he loved his uh, cigars too. Kylu, another Kylu rookie for the Seattle Mariners and Tony C. That's uh, two now. Bratney got to enjoy a rare full day of sleep. Isn't it great? Actually, after the show, we, we, uh, I woke my wife up. My kids were gone. They were at their uh, grandparents. They're back now, unfortunately. I mean, I miss them, and I'm so glad they're home. But they were not here last night. And um, I woke my wife up at 6.30, 6.15, 6.30, and said, Hey, we're going we're gonna to go to IHOP. Been uh, frenzying all night. It's, it's time for some dinner. So woke her up. We went to IHOP. The conductor nickname is Chris Sale. this uh ihop cup that i've got here ihop a little water to go oh big wrench fell asleep are you doing the daytime sleeping too on a sunday big wrench you're in the financial business so you're off tomorrow i imagine yep bratney uh mrs chomp super excited to be woken up to go to ihop she was very angry with me because Poop and I went to IHOP the other night after a show. Got a little breakfast. Hey, the Millville Meteor, Mark Trout. Oh, I'm, I'm just kidding. Mike Trout. Who's that guy? <laughs> it's the GOAT. Halos and Cody C. You got this one. So, Mrs. Chomps really likes the pancakes at IHOP. I don't even know that it's the pancakes as much as it is the... Um, as much as it is the syrup, she likes the uh, the pecan. What is it, the butter pecan syrup? Yeah, big wrench. Thank you. Listen, thank God for my wife because I'll frenzy all night, and then thankfully she takes over, and I get to go to sleep. We do have this thing worked out since I'm a man of the night now. Oh, I was telling the story, Trevor, and then we got an auto, and I had to stop. We did break our own record last night. We used to get excited when we had 10 boxes sold in a frenzy, which that's a lot of cards, let's be honest. The last three nights, we, we broke records. 21 and a half, because we're counting packs a certain way. 21 and a half, 24, and then um, last night, 28. 28 boxes of cards cracked in the frenzy. Probably driving the girls crazy. <laughs> Trev says you're making the bread so you're able to stay up all night without getting divorced. There may be some truth to that. Um, but I don't really keep the bread. <laughs> I put it right back in to the business. At least to this point. Take a little bit for the bills and everything goes back in. That allows me to get more product for you guys. You keep seeing you know new stuff, weird stuff being thrown in. That's kind of where that money's going. It's all an investment. Bo Bichette and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Second side chick card of the evening. Toronto, that's Scott. He also has the two hanky autos. Trev says, no, you put it in Huff and Puff. Let's be real here. I will give Huff and Puff some, but here's the great thing about Huff and Puff. It usually blesses you at some point. Bob Gibson. Spiff wants to know, how do you get half a pack? It, it, it's not half a pack. We say 
two and a half, 21 and a half boxes were sold that night. You say, how do you half a box? Well, it's a pack count. So when we do retail, we do retail packs, we add those up and, and we kind of look at it like, you know, half a box, whole box, third, third of, you know, third of a box, whatever. Yes, yeah, six hard hats. That's what I'm looking for out of that Huff and Puff. I really like seven or eight, though. Just being greedy. Big Wrench asks, you ever think about doing pack sales, Chomps? Well, I, I do. In fact, I made an announcement. You were snoozing. I don't know if you heard, uh, tomorrow is a big day for us. And for those just joining in, our big Labor Day deal. We're going to have flagship shows like normal go off at 9.30 Central Time. I'm going to flip the webcam on at 7. 7 p.m. Central. We're going to do a non-baseball frenzy. I've got football cards. I've got basketball cards. I've got lots of retail stuff. And we're even going to do a, uh, a quick little two-box divisional football uh, for the new 2020 uh, Donruss product that just dropped. There's a Boba Shett rookie. So if you like basketball cards, if you like football cards... If you're one of the ones that said, hey, Chomps, you ever going to get into that stuff? Try to jump on. You know, I thought about doing the middle of the day because a lot of people are off. But, nah, you know, some folks are trying to go to the lake or spend time with their family. There's a Lou Brock. Rest in peace, Mr. Brock. Sad day today. Losing a legend. And a Nick Solak rookie. Trev wants to know what's your price point of the Donruss. Ah, I don't remember. 7 p.m. Central Time. Make a note. Really, more than anything, it's going to be an experiment. Because we've done just a little bit of this stuff on the Frenzy. And I'm not going to sit here and act like I've got, you know, any of the... Oh, you know what? That's a great idea, Steve. I'm going to put Lou on a stand. Great idea. It's going to be an experiment. Uh, and it's not just that one day controls everything. But I'm just curious to see, you know, who's going to watch? Who's going to jump in? Uh, obviously, there's a great market for basketball and football cards. I know we're going to need to get in at some point uh, to the other sports. I just love baseball is my first love. We've, create, we've created an amazing, or, or gathered, I guess, an incredible baseball base. Never going to turn my back on my baseball base. But we, but just, uh, you know, the obvious stuff is as these other sports get going, specifically football, you got to give the people what they want. So we... Um, we put that together, and I'm just curious to see what it's going to look like. I did actually last night schedule our first ever flagship show football. You guys will see a flagship football show seven days from now. Mr. No Hitter, Lucas Giolito. We've got uh, maybe a hit coming up. Oh, no, it's going to be a parallel. Purple Michael Conforto. Check it out. That is number four of 175 on the Michael Conforto. New York Mets, Thomas S. You've got the parallel Conforto. Never can tell if that's going to be a hit or a parallel. But yeah, we're going to do, uh, I've got a case of 2020 Donruss football. It really just seemed fitting. Those of you that know the history of this channel, there's a Jordan rookie, Houston Brian. Brian S., you got this one. We started our show once upon a time, what? I think it was in March. How many months ago that was now? Five, maybe? Six? With uh, with Don Russ Baseball. Now we got a uh, baby blue border here. Look at this. Aaron Hicks for the Yankees. Five of only 25 on the sky blue parallel. New York Yankees, David R. We're going to throw a top load on this one, number to 25. So we started with 2020 Donruss Baseball. That was our first show. Spiffy was in that one. He remembers that one. Bad lighting, bad camera, bad sound, bad everything. And um, grew to all of this. It's because, kind of like I'm doing now, just putting all the money back into the product, not keeping the, the profits, or very little. I mean, there's some for bills and stuff, but... We're trying to put everything back in, so we had to fund lots of products to be able to do a frenzy for you guys every night. Um, that's been a, a, a great challenge. 
But I mean, we've cracked 70 boxes of cards in the last three nights. It's hard to, it's hard to keep up with it. I totally understand the whole uh, cash flow can be an issue thing with uh, with business. Duke of Flatbush, that's going to be the Duke Snyder, Dodgers, and Andrew P. And our second Lou Bob rookie of the night, White Sox, Andrew P. And I'm trying to do this without utilizing uh, credit lines. Everything we do has been cash. So it might slow some of the growth, I guess, and what you could do with a credit line, but then we don't owe anybody any money either. So that's been kind of nice to uh, to put everything back into the into the business, keep trying to grow it for you guys, and then eventually we'll have a, you know I imagine a full inventory of basketball and football to uh, make it happen. And I'm not against the credit line thing. I just uh, I've been able to do it without it. At some point we may have to change that, but. Yeah, when you sell 70 boxes of cards in three nights, you're uh, you're gonna need to replenish pretty quick. Frankie Lindor, Shohei Otani. There's a hammer and Hank Aaron. Nice one there for the Braves. Mark, or I'm sorry, that's uh, Sam P. Sam P. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get to Leighton level. Who knows? But uh, anything's possible. At some point, the sports card bubble may burst. I was telling my wife this at IHOP this morning. You know, it's doing so well, right? We got to hit Mets, John Stearns. Spiffy, I'm going to need you. Mets, Thomas S. You've got the blue ink on card auto of the Mets, John Stearns. Spiffy, never heard of her. Yeah, three million in product a month. I actually would be surprised if it was only that, seeing what they crack. And we're doing um, nowhere near that, but we are six figures a month now in product. Never thought I'd be able to say that. To think that you can spend over a hundred thousand dollars a month in cases, it's pretty crazy. Three million. Okay, yeah, that's. That's, that's insane. It's insane. I never thought we'd get to six figures in a month. There's an AJ Puck. Oh, we got another auto. Looks like it's a New York Yankee. Shane Spencer. Shane Spencer. Spiffy got us uh, John Stern's info. 260 average, 46 home runs, 312 ribby. So that's going to be more of a sentimental card. Uh, as will the Shane Spencer, I imagine, be. Four autos, and we've uh, not really had any big players yet. Yeah. Oh, there's Poopy in the chat. Says, at least it's not Hanky. Count your blessings on that. Deep auto checklist. Yeah, good point. Didn't realize I'd have an employee either. But this thing is really taken off. I was telling her this morning, at, I was telling Mrs. Chomps at IHOP, that at some point, the, the uh, you know, the, uh, the, the hobby sports card... Um, bubble will burst uh, you know it, it's taken off it's doing amazing maybe when the virus truly gets contained and people start going out more you may see less money spent on cards I don't know Gavin Lux rookie for the Dodgers Andrew P and it's not the end of the world it's not like all of us that got into the game during the pandemic are gonna go under I think a lot of them will I think as revenues dip for a lot of folks they'll get out of it but I also believe that if you have a strong program, you're going to make it through. And you will be one. Because my wife said, well, wait a second. Weren't, weren't there breaking before COVID? Weren't there breakers, established breakers before COVID? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. COVID just ramped it up. So there will be some of us that will make it past, uh, past COVID and the bubble. And probably several that won't. And I am obnoxious enough and determined enough that we will be one that will make it through. If we keep uh, bringing you guys a good product on and off the field, I think uh, people will be loyal. Spiff says, as long as there's a hot rookie, breakers will be good. As long as they have a loyal fan base, get good product and know what they're doing. I agree. Four killers sticking with me. Thank you, brother. And look, uh, do I think that bubble's going to burst anytime soon? No. 
No, I was talking to a couple friends in the industry the other day. They thought uh, 24 months, maybe, a couple of years before that bubble bursts. I do think you'll see more breakers get in. I, I've been seeing a lot of that lately, even from uh, some folks that watch our show getting into breaking. Some get in and get right out. Some get in and see that it's tough, but they're like me. They're, I don't know, they're strong-willed, keep going. Others can make it. They can get in and make it. Um, it's just a grind. Just a grind. But it's a really, it's a cool industry. I've never been happier in my life. Never worked harder, but never been happier. And isn't that all that matters? I get to break cards on camera for a living. It's all the other stuff that takes a lot of time that can be a little challenging. All right, that is the end of box number two. Let's get into the third box of the show. Yeah, nobody wants to pay Feebay, Mr. Four Killer. We are uh, now at that, like, about 10 grand a month level that we pay those guys. People always say, oh, you don't have the, the overhead that a card shop has. And I'm like, <laughs> you've not seen my financials. Oh, we've got a, uh, a mini poster before I start getting into the cards. Duke of Flatbush, Brooklyn Dodgers. That's the Duke Snyder. That's nice, the mini poster. Dodgers, that's Andrew P. You've got this one coming your way. Hashtag not Duke of Alma. Aw, poopy. Bradley never thought she'd like sorting cards as much as she does. And really, we've talked about it. It's not even so much that, right? It's you guys. It's the community. It's the community she's a part of. You guys uh, care about her. You guys always show her respect. She does a great job. Employee of the month every month. Really by default. She's my best and my worst employee. But normally she's my best. Ah. But we're already having to talk about possibly adding another team member as we grow. If the frenzy continues like it does or like it's been, we'll have no choice but to add somebody else. Good problem to have. That's, that's the growing pains thing. We've added, we've built two rooms now. This studio and the shipping department is now built. So we can we can stand a little bit more growth. Uh, if we get any bigger than this, we are going to have to get into our own building somewhere in the Alma area. Bobachet, rookie. Very nice. Scott, that is your Bobachet. Yeah, Big Wrench, it's actually a good point. When you start to see the retail craze die down a little bit, and, and like before, you could actually go to Target or Walmart and actually buy cards that you want, packs of cards, then that will be a sign that some of those that got into cards out of boredom are getting out. But look, so many of you have said you got back into the hobby because of COVID. So did I, respectfully. You know, and, and, and I think that those of us that got back in and found another, found re rediscovered our passion, right? Rediscovered our love of cards. We're not going anywhere. Gavin Lux, that's the 55 edition rookie. That's very nice. Another one for Andrew P and those Dodgers. Scott says, how about a Bo Auto? Well, we got to get past these uh, Hinkies and Shane Spencers first. We're, 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 we're getting rid of those out of the case before we get into the good stuff. Yeah, Mr. Four Killer said, I didn't even know what breaking was until March. Curse you, chomps! Curses you! I know. Hey, look, Brat. It's the Bratney's George Solar card. Bratney wants to know, will you be offering makeup breaks if the bubble burst? How funny is that? Bratney was thinking, like, why don't we do a show with makeup? And you could, like, buy into it? And it's kind of like chomps, but it's for makeup. And I'm like, no. And that was it. Then I think I just walked away. Oh, MJ's back. MJ slacking on the treasurer duties again, bud. Got another uh, 34 minutes left in bidding for 2019 Bowman Chrome. 
Mr. Four Killer asks, doesn't Mackenzie, that's my 12 year old daughter, do jewelry? She does, but her and every other woman on the planet seem to get into that at the same time. That bubble burst really fast. And I'll tell you, that company that sells that jewelry got behind. <laughs> They had growing pains, and then a lot of us went, ah, oh, it's taking us a month to get our product. We're out. And so now she doesn't really do it anymore. <laughs> Spiff wants to do a Pogs break. I'm in on that, actually. Yeah, I'm actually in on that. I, I haven't seen a Pog or a Slammer in, in, you know, three decades or two decades, but I'm in. I'm in. Let's bring that, let's, let's have that bubble go. AJ Puck, that is for Jaquan as Oakland A's. And Alubob, 55. This is beautiful. I actually saw that the one of one of this was pulled. It was on eBay a few weeks ago. This is very nice. So we know we can't pull the one of one. But uh, what a nice card. We're going to top load this one. Top loading those Lubobs tonight. For Andrew P. and his White Sox. I almost think I like that a lot more than the uh, Shane Spencer auto we got earlier. Yeah, uh, Sassino knows that you got a 50% raise, MJ, on the treasurer duties, and he's going to expect you to funnel some of that over to him. Even though we did agree that 50% uh, of zero is still zero, uh, we still think it's the right thing for you to do. MJ, do the right thing, okay? Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> we got our third side chick card. Vladdy and Boba Shad. Look at the hair. Look at the hair. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, Mr. Four Killer is really getting on you today, MJ. Nice, Poopy. So you'll probably be here maybe for the second show. There's MJ. Brewers, Twins, and Mets next in Bowman Chrome. Get your teams. Let's go. There's a random goat sighting. <laughs> and it said it's a Kino rookie for Cincinnati and Tony C. Brendan McKay. I like it, Spiff. When we find a Tom Seaver, we can put him next to Lou Brock. I'm good with that. Yeah, the treasurer job, it's, it's a pretty important one. Sometimes we all get kind of caught up in watching the show, which is kind of what it's for, and forget that there's more auctions on the clock. And then somebody, the people, I hear it all the time. Oh, man, I forgot that was even going on. Didn't realize that was going on. It would have bought such and such a team. Brennan McKay, rookie for Tampa Bay. Hank Aaron. Be on the lookout for that Tom Seaver. I don't want to miss it. We put him up with Lou Brock back there. Jackie Robinson. There's a nice second year Guerrero. I have also noticed when there's two of us in the room, whether it be for a flagship show or a frenzy show, uh, the dynamic changes. Uh, you can feed off the other guy. You can move faster for the frenzies. One guy's getting the next one built and show she put together. I think uh, our audience likes it more because there's less waiting around, more breaking. So. Uh, you know, Poop, Catholomeow, and I had a little meeting of the minds after the show this morning. And we're going to try to have it to be more... We won't get it all the time where there's two of us in the room. We may get to that at some point, but we're going to try to do more, uh, more frenzies and flagships where there are two of us. I just think the dynamic is fun. It gives another guy a rest here and there. Keeps everybody fresh. It's a good time.
Nope, won't drive up prices, Kyle. It's, we just do more volume. Have not seen a price increase out of me in weeks. In fact, I've put some products on sale. It's kind of my plan. When you have to pay the pricing for like the hotter product pricing, because that's what the cases were. When the case prices start coming down or we're seeing a product that, you know, uh, just isn't moving, we can now put it on sale and then it moves. So it's kind of been the opposite. We got a numbered parallel, Chicago Cubs. Can't even read that name. I think that's Jason Hayward. The writing is right there. Jason Hayward, 68 of 175. Well, that's tough to read. Chicago Cubs. Cubbies and Dean, you've got the 175 parallel. Confirm Jason Hayward. Big Wrench says that it is nice to have two people in the room. Makes for a better show. Nice to have one guy getting a break together as the other's breaking one. Yeah, just less waiting around. You guys get to your get to your breaks faster. And of course, what does that mean? More boxes sold, right? So it's not it's not it's good for the company and it's good for you guys. It's just being able to have that second person in here can sometimes be a challenge. Got a hit. No, we don't. Oh, this is nice though. It's kind of like a hit. It's better than the better than the hits. <laughs> 9 of 25 on this one. Hey, Zeus Lazardo. Boom, boom, boom for Jay Qua. That's awesome. Yes, yeah, Spiffy says, now that one is Spiffy. Nice card for Jay Qua. It's a very nice one. We like this. Number to 25 is all on that baby blue border. Good Lazardo there. Yeah, he's got that good Spiffy mojo working. Kyle, you, that, that's a fair assumption, right? There could be more overhead because you have to pay the other guy, right? But what we were doing, what we were doing was saying, okay, if we're making it up in volume, the profit stays the profit, and you just split it. But because we're faster, we're doing more. So, I don't know. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. You guys like it. Company likes it. The, the breakers like it. Moves faster. It's more fun. Jordan Alvarez, rookie. That's going to be for Houston. Brian S. Yeah, big wrench. Brakes were hammered back to back to back when you guys were there together. No waiting for anything. It was crazy. That was one of the most stressful nights of my life. <laughs> we actually had three of us in the room last night. Poop was here because I was off, technically. Cat was here. Poop came up to help. And so technically there was going to be the two. And I was in here doing busy work. And I couldn't shut up, you know, the banter we talk about. And occasionally I'd jump in and break, and pretty soon I was here all night. I just realized, oh gosh, I'm here all night. Never did go to bed. No, we're Syndergaard, Thor, nice nicknames there. Yeah, it was kind of fun too to be able to tell the, the people that were buying into the breaks, hey, pick your breaker. <laughs> all three of us are here right now. Who do you want to see break the cards? Who's got the hot hand? And it, and it would rotate. You, you know, you either pick your favorite breaker or you'd pick the guy you thought was, you know, having the hottest hand right then. It was pretty cool. It was fun. We got a hit. Oh, I like Mark Wallers. I'm a fan. Atlanta Braves. Sam P on the Mark Wallers. That's cool. This one's going to be numbered, too. Yeah. Ooh, one of 150. So, Sam, you've got the eBay one of one on the Mark Wallers. Very cool. I'm not going to make fun of this auto. I like the player, like the auto. Lauren says, you think you'll lose anything if you added shipping again? Um, I don't think I'm going to add shipping again, and, and I'll tell you why. There are some shows, and, and look, you, you guys can do the math. You guys can go onto eBay and you can add up what we take in. You can go to some of the bigger card websites and see what products cost. Add, you know, 12.9% of fees. Add what you think we'd spend in shipping. And you get a really good idea of what we make on this stuff, right? Sometimes we do the numbers after the show. Most time it's after the show. I had some time to pull numbers for this one um, right now. And with product cost factored in, our cost for shipping, the 12.9% to eBay and PayPal, and what we took in, the show netted a $30 profit. 
that was it, $30. We've had some shows that can be $100, $150. Uh, oh, we got another hit. Rich Gedman. Boy, we're, uh, I don't know if I like our dice roll. We're kind of clearing out some of these guys. Hope we'll see some bigger autos in the next two boxes. Rich Gedman, that's the Boston Red Sox, Mark M. You got a hit. So what I was saying before, it, 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 the eBay is the roller coaster, man. And you got to be very strategical on what products you're doing, what configurations you're doing, when you're listing them, what is the early show, what is the later show. For instance, and this may surprise you guys, those of you that, and look, if you're bored by this talk, just tell me, I'll shut up. But some, some of you, I think, are kind of interesting or get interested by peeking behind the curtain. You know, our worst nights for breaking would probably surprise you. From a profit and loss standpoint, the worst nights, Friday and Saturday night. And you might go, well, wait a second, that doesn't make sense. Isn't, isn't like everybody on eBay, especially during COVID right now? Well, yeah. But you know there's like seven gazillion breakers on Friday and Saturday night? And a lot of us are doing the same stuff. Right now, what are you seeing on breaks? Stadium Club. Right? Stadium Club just came out. Tops Chrome. Some archives here and there. So you got a choice to go to a lot of different places. And so overall, yeah, and then, and then Spiffy, you're right. You will have date nights, and you will have things like that. Friday and Saturday night are the worst nights by, by, by far for us. And, and we just make it up in the frenzy. Frenzy's controlled. Pricing's controlled. One of my suppliers said, uh, one of my suppliers said, you guys should just stop doing Friday and Saturday night shows. Because believe it or not, more often than not, the show actually loses money. Like, loses money. We said this one made $30. Friday and Saturday night shows, um, more often than not, will be in the negative, will be in the red. And so my supplier was like, why would you do that then? Why would you continue to do that? Why would you keep losing money? It's like, well, it's exposure. People find out about us. And then we frenzy. And we make money on the frenzy. That's controlled. So it's, it's, it's almost like paying for advertising, losing a little bit of money on the flagship, but making sure people know that we're there. Kyle, it's, I look at it as an advertising cost. Plus, it's, it's good to show losses here and there against your, your revenue, against your profits, right? So it's definitely, um, definitely strategical. But I think new breakers realize real quick when they get in they're like, well, man, I could flip on that webcam and I can make big money. And it's like, nah, nah, not usually. Well, and Lawrence, that was kind of why I went on this little rant. You asked about shipping. We're one of the few out there that does free shipping. I like being a little bit different. And I feel like, Kyle, you're right. We need to be on, if we say seven nights a week, seven nights a week, not just the nights that we make money. Or seven nights a week. If you want to flip on your webcam or your YouTube or whatever, sometime between, you know, well, around nine o'clock central time usually, we're on. We're on. And we're probably on until five in the morning. So, yeah, consistency is key. We got a Shoei Otani. That's the Showtime poster. Very nice. Cody C. You got this one coming your way. So, I'm going to keep doing the. I'm going to keep doing the free shipping model, even though I know we take a bath on that from time to time. It does make us stand out a little bit. Big Wrench says, if you thought about setting up divisional breaks for Friday and Saturday, they're time slotted, then through Facebook. Put the product out there on Mondays for sign up and break Friday and Saturday. That's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. This four killer said, so even if a Yankee break went for 500, there's not much made overall. Uh, I've never made 500 on the Yankees. Are, I'm assuming you're talking about the team selling for that. Diaz. For an auction team. Well, I've never had a Yankees go for anywhere near $500. If Yankees went for $500, I'd make a fortune. 
But like in uh, Bowman the other night, it went for like uh, one sixty something. That was good. That was good. We made money on the Bowman show. We lost money on the first show of the night, but we made money on the second. Aaron Judge, Sean Murphy. Oh, okay. When twenty twenty Bowman first dropped, yes, we were right. We did have a team go for seven hundred. The other nights they went for like two and three hundred. We did make money in that show, but do you realize when those cases first hit, they were like uh, four grand, forty two hundred, something like that for regular Bowman, forty five hundred. It was it was nuts, man. So from a product cost standpoint, we had to take in a ton of money on a quarter case show. You got to remember then you had twelve point nine percent fees. Um, so the higher you're taking, the more the fees are plus the free shipping so uh, we did make money on those Bowmans but it was not much it was not much and then we got Bowman right autographs that weren't in there supposed to be stuff like that nice uh, Alvarez rookie Matthew H says how do you get cases as a breaker don't most distributors only sell to brick and mortar so it used to be that way Matthew but if you are a legitimate business you have you're a corporation you have an EIN you have a resale tax ID number that sort of thing uh, they will sell to you because breakers are a, are a big business now for those distributors. Dustin May. And look, you can always go on the blowout, uh, Steel Cities. I'll need to use those guys from time to time because distributors will allocate you. They will allocate what you're allowed. And if you need more than your allocation, then you have no choice but to go elsewhere and pay more for the product. But yeah, most people believe, oh, there's big distributors. I can just go buy from them. Well, you can, but you have to be set up as a corporation. You have to make sure that you're legit. You have to go get all the numbers that you need, the EIN, the resale permit, stuff like that. Big Ring says, I told Cap that the 10 box Bowman last night was a blast. Glad you did it. We know that there are three more of those shows on the calendar, sir. There's Bratney's George Solar. What I did is I bought a case of those blasters, sealed case. There are 40 blaster boxes in there. So we decided to do quarter case shows, four 10 box breaks. So be looking on the calendar for that, Ross. We will have three more shows in September doing 10 box blasters. It was a lot of fun. We don't do a lot of retail on this show, especially for flagship, but here and there, I know there's a market for it. So I feel like we need to, again, try to appeal to everybody here and there. And you know what? Like I said before, we actually made money on that show, which was great because that was a Saturday night and normally we don't. And I think it's because, I, I got to imagine it's because um, it was different, right? It was different. Everyone else is doing Stadium Club and, and Topps Chrome and stuff. And we did uh, Bowman Blaster. And so that, I think, made the prices uh, go higher than they would have when it was, you know, Bowman release time. Dylan says usually five to eight autos in a blaster case. Yeah, you you do get a ton of product, ton of rookies, ton of there's like seven hundred and twenty cards in that break, sixty packs. Steve said, speaking of uh, money, Padre just went for three hundred five. Okay, so here's a really good point on that, Steve, and I'll and I'll and I'll wrap up this this business talk because some of you guys probably don't care. Um, do you guys remember what the Padres went for the other night? Friday night, we did the Bowman Chrome show. The first 2019 Bowman Chrome show. Do you guys remember what the Padres went for? There are two reasons that number is higher tonight than it was. Big Wrench says 134. Right on. Right on, Ross. You say, how in the world does the same product configuration, same four box break, go for 134 on Friday and on Sunday it goes for 300 bucks I'm not talking about a show I did two months ago when Tatis wasn't as hot as he is now I'm talking two days ago two reasons one Sunday night usually good on the show this show wasn't the early shows don't do as good as the late shows Sunday night that's one reason it's not Friday or Saturday night. And number two, 
those that watched the first show, we didn't get a Tatis auto. There's no guarantee there's one in that case. A lot of times there is. So those of you that are watching the show and keeping track of what's what, uh, know that. And guess what? If I don't end up pulling a Tatis auto tonight, that you may see that number bigger on the third one. I don't know. Bo Bichette, rookie. But yeah, we actually, uh, that Bowman Chrome show, we lost money on on Friday night. It was Friday night. And I actually told my brother, Cat, who was in the hot seat that night, I, I apologized to him because he's paid commissions, right? He's paid commissions of show. But he also knows that I pay him a mini too, by the way. So when we lose money, he still makes money. It's just not as much as when we make money. I pay him what's called a mini. But um, I apologized to him and I said, you know what? I shouldn't have done the first show for Friday night. That was my bad. He's cool. He gets it. We're, we're, we're learning stuff, right? Hey, nice one. Giancarlo Stanton, purple border to 175. That's a nice card. Steve said, I thought you paid Cat and Taco Bell. <laughs> Scott says, when you get a chance, can you top load the Bichette rookie cards, please? Sure, buddy. I sure can. I'll do it the rest of the way and make a note on the show sheet. See if the girls will do that when they're, when they're sorting. There's a Jordan rookie. Houston, that's Brian S. So yeah, I feel like for most people, it's an interesting topic. I'm very transparent. I think you guys know that, whether you ask me on the show or you send me a message or something. I'll tell you whatever you want. Not the he-she cards. <laughs> I got you, dude. The base rookie cards. <laughs> Not the side chick cards. MJ says, Cardinals, Tampa, Texas, next in Bowman Chrome. Get your teams. But, you know, it's funny. I, I, I have found it to be wise that we stay with these cases as opposed to loose boxes in the flagship show. Because then you guys can watch. We don't mix up anything. And uh, if something hasn't been pulled that you expect, you've kind of got that insider track that, okay, maybe the... the like, like, here's a good example. This first half of this case for autos, not been very good so far. I hope it changes. It's not been very good. And if you believe there's going to be some good autos in this case and we don't get them tonight, you might be willing to go a little heavier on the second half because you watched the show. But that's the advantage of, of not mixing up product between uh, Flagship and Frenzy. You start to get an idea of what's in the case. Yeah, Big Wrench has said, that thinking has paid off for me a ton on certain breaks. Oh, there we go. I'm excited about this one. Boom, boom, boom. Cody Cooper, you got the Darren Erstad. Look at this. I love this card. Ha <laughs> ha. Fun fact, who caught the final out in the 2002 World Series, Game 7, where the Angels won our, wor our first and only World Series? We finally earned our wings on October 27th, 2002. It was Darren Erstad caught it in center field and ran in. Troy Percival on the mound doing this. Benji Molina jumping into his arms. Fireworks going off. Ersty. Yes, I do own one of those because we pulled an Erstad and a Garrett Anderson out of one box. And, uh, and I bought them both. The winning uh, buyer there sold them to me. Love those cards. Special to me. Chris says, who is the Nebraska baseball coach? There you go. Gavin Lux. Nice rookie there for the Dodgers. And Andrew P. Got another hit. Steve Finley. Very nice. All right, we're starting to heat it up a little bit. Arizona Diamondbacks, you've got the Steve Finley. That is Benjamin O. Jeremy said, Erstad says he has it. You can hear the call, right? That's so cool. Yeah, Big Wrench, sometimes you're going to eat it because no one knows what's in these cases. 
but it's pretty cool uh, when you get it right <laughs> because you've been kind of keeping watch of the show and you go oh, I'm expecting something big to come out here and it does very rarely very rarely is a case just all bad or all good for that matter you can have some cases like finest that have hot cases and you start to learn you know where the autos are and stuff like that that makes them a hot case but for the most time it most of the time it's um you're gonna have some bad and some good so you start playing the odds you look for those case hits then for breaking the trick is going to be to get the team right there is the uh side chick card i think we're getting one per box right now i want to say this is side chick number four Dr. VD Cockburn says, any Cascade autos tonight? No Cascades, but um, some may as well have been. <laughs> Big Ring said, like last week when I said I missed on Cincy, and I knew an Aquino auto was due, sure enough, it was pulled and the guy laughed. I called it at the start. There you go. Because you're, you're, you, you've seen enough of the product to know that an Aquino usually hits in the case. Didn't get it yet. Thought it should come out then, and it did. But that's great. You've also rewound video of some of our shows to to kind of see where things were at. I know you've said that in the chat before. But you watch footage so you know every auto that came out of the case. And it gives you a better idea of what you could hope to see maybe in, uh, in the final installment of a quarter case break or third case break or whatever it is. And it helps you be educated. MJ tells us Texas, Toronto, and Washington. Last three teams left in Bowman Chrome. You're not rookie. <laughs> Scott, you're a good dude. Is someone envious of a side chick card? Does someone that's already in this break want a side chick card? Spiffy, I agree. There are definitely fan favorite autos in this. This is not the kind of break that, you know, I mean, you can go for some of those bigger teams and try to try to smack it. Obviously, we pulled the Trout Auto to 20 for Jayqua. That Stuff like that can happen. This is kind of more of a sentimental product, I think. Really good for set building, really good for PC. Exactly, Big Wrench. Well, we had one of our buyers, uh, I remember in the, in the, in the last show, of 2019 tops uh, to i'm sorry 2019 bowman chrome you know the tatis auto was pulled in the previous show and someone had said that and he was like oh no and sure enough he didn't get one there's a sh uh, another mini it's our second mini of the night ralph kiner nice mr four killer asks a company like tops set out a base price for a case then go up or down depending on the market you know what it's not usually the card company mr four killer it's the big distributors that decide what they're going to price it at pittsburgh pirates that's nice christian you got that mini ralph kiner beautiful card it's funny we've seen in 2020 um after a product's opening day a lot of times that case shoots up so I've been trying to get ahead of it and do more pre-order casing than I usually do, which again ties up more money. But like I've got, I've, I had one, then I had two 2020 Bowman Chrome cases. Now I have four. So I've got four Bowman Chrome cases. I may try to give us one more because I know that the, the price is going to shoot up. I know it is. I have no doubt. That case is less than Topps Chrome right now. Alzale rookie. And yeah, if some of you guys are wanting to invest... I don't think it's a bad idea to go, you know, if you can afford a case, buy a case. If you can't, buy some loose boxes maybe, or even one. They're probably going to go up. Mr. Four Killer said, uh, why uh, why not get it from Tops? Uh, you can't really get it from Tops. They'll sell it on their website like an opening day, and they'll sell out in like five minutes or less. So you can try that. you got to try to find some kind of a calendar for opening day of products. Then it's all distributors from there, and they get to control everything. And it's frustrating when a case goes up by a thousand dollars in a night. You're like, okay, well, 
Can't do that one anymore for the flagship show. I can do it in the frenzy, but I gotta tell these guys, price can go way up. If they want it, I'll buy it. If they don't, I won't. Get rid of uh, box four, we'll get on to five. Yeah, you're not gonna lose any money on Bowman Chrome, I assure you. Even if for some reason it doesn't jump up like everything else has, okay, you, you get your money back. It's, it's not, not gonna come down, I assure you. It's not gonna fall. The only direction it's going to move is up. And that's just with the history of what's happened in 2020 on our side. It's a good investment to buy that product that you know is going to be hot. That product that you know is timeless, so to speak. It's not fatty. It's not a fad. Bowman is the home of the rookie card. You're not, you're not going to lose out on Bowman Chrome. Ever. Yeah, Big Wrench, you know I'm in. <laughs> you need a buyer to talk to me. Sandman, Mariana Rivera. Let me try to see if I can give you a better look at this. There we go. New York Yankees, David R. You've got the Sandman mini poster. Very nice. Get that one out to you. New subscriber, Joshua S., Thank you so much for the support. We appreciate the sub. Guys, we're getting closer to the magic number. Every day. It took us forever, it seemed like, to get to 100. It took us forever to get to 500. And it's not taking us long to get to uh, from 500 to where are we at? Almost 950 now? We're getting close to that um, big point of 1,000. A lot of things happen on YouTube. A lot of things can change for you when you get to 1,000. It does begin to snowball a little bit. You start popping up higher in searches, stuff like that. Andres Munoz. And we have something else going for us besides the subscriber count. YouTube looks at the watch hours. There's a nice polar bear. Polar bear for Thomas S. and the Metropolitans. YouTube looks at watch hours. And you can imagine, being that we frenzy and flagship seven nights a week, we have uh, probably more time with watch hours uh, on camera than off. Watch hours, never going to be a problem on this show. So YouTube uh, kind of puts us to the front of the line on some stuff when they know that people are going to be watching. And it is a trash show. But they still watch, and that's all that YouTube cares about. I agree, Spiff. The smartest thing Topps ever did was make Bowman a rookie-centric product. You bet. Gavin Lux, rookie. Dodgers. Yeah, the algorithms don't care if it's a trash show or not. You're exactly right. They look at uh, subscribers and, most importantly, watch hours. And engagement. Chrome is done from MJ. Excited to get into that. I want to see some of the bigger rookies hit tonight. We did get some of the rookie card base, but you're going to see that. Doing four boxes, you're going to see those rookies come out. But I want to see some autos. See some nice autos hit tonight. Trout and Otani. So we're in our final box, fifth box of this half case show. Should have two more autos to go. I was excited about the Erstad and the Finley autos we got from the last box. Outside of that, nothing, uh, nothing huge to speak of. There's a baby blue Ahmed Rosario. Number to 25, 15 of 25. New York Metropolitans, Thomas S. Throw a top load on that. Got uh, a couple boxes, loose boxes of Topps Chrome Jumbo. 
I had a lot of Topps Chrome Hobby left, so I put that on sale. I probably only have one or two boxes left of Topps Chrome Hobby, but I did buy two boxes of Topps Chrome Jumbo. I was just curious to see if in the frenzy that may be more interesting because of five autos. The price point's going to be a little higher. Um, always a jumbo box is going to be higher, but there's five autos in that one. So keep that in mind. If you're interested in Topps Chrome Jumbo, you may want to jump into the frenzy tonight. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if we're going to move those or not. Oh, nice. Big Range says pulled five autos out of a divisional break this afternoon. Stadium four box break. Two Solak autos if someone's interested in the Solak. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. So, Big Wrench, I would be, but don't, don't prioritize me. If somebody else is interested in that, sell to them first. But if nobody bites, get with me, because uh, I wouldn't mind just PC in one of those uh, Solaks. Steve says, ton of Yordan in this break. We have noticed in archives, Steve, there is a lot of Jordan Alvarez. Another Loriano. Yeah, you guys will definitely in a in a um, in a half case show like this, you will definitely whatever teams you won, you will get all the cards from that set. You'll get multiples. So I, I say it's kind of like Heritage. You know, if you like this product, maybe on the next half case show. You go after some teams you didn't go after this time. And you can work to build uh, probably several sets if you wanted to. Andy Pettit, that's going to be Houston. This is numbered to 175. 153 of 175 on the Andy Pettit. Ah, big wrench, you got Thyst. Man, Brian S., that's your Pettit. It certainly happens... Uh, more often than Trout comes out. <laughs> you're going to see a lot more Thice and you're going to see Trouty, unfortunately. Oh, nice, Mr. Four Killer. Yeah. Definitely throw it on the Facebook page so everybody can see it. You may be able to skip the Feebay roller coaster. Dustin May and Bob Feller. Ceno says, as a Yankee fan, I'm offended Pettit's in his Astros uniform. Totally get it. I wouldn't say that I'm a Padre fan, but I grew up watching a lot of Padres. That's my dad's favorite team. And so I we saw earlier Steve Finley auto in a Diamondbacks uniform. I'm like, Padre. Steve Finley, Padres. He was even an angel for a little while. No, no, no. Steve Finley is a Padre. In in my head. So it's weird to see him, you know, auto with the auto with the Diamondbacks. But you also have to remember sometimes these card sets, they need uh, to fill up certain teams, right? So if, if they were a little light on the Diamondbacks, they say, okay, let's take a player like Steve Finley, let's put him on the Diamondbacks so that uh, that team set has, has some more cards. Sometimes that's why you'll see that. Another Mr. Sunshine with the little Cubs right there. We like that card. Chipper. We got a hit. Manny Sangian. Very cool. Pittsburgh Pirates. Now that's kind of a cool one. I like this one. Christian Yu. Having a great night on the Pirates. Got the mini card earlier, the Ralph Kiner. Now he's got the Manny Sangian auto. I understand Manny Sangian was a fan favorite. I remember my dad talked about him. Spiffy, what do we know on Sankian? 296 average, 65 home runs, 585 RBIs. Almost a 300 uh, lifetime hitter. That's pretty cool. Bratney says, is that heritage? Nope, archives. Although it's a big set to, uh, to have to sort, Brat. I'm sorry. Although that is that is job security. Remember that. If all I did was, uh, you know, six or seven cards in Immaculate, I wouldn't need you. 
I'd still need you. Just not for sorting and shipping, I guess. Steve said I had two pirate autos the last time you broke archives. I remember one of them was uh, was a legend too, was it? Or you know, one of those older players. I forget the name of him. I remember it being kind of cool. Oh my gosh, another Mark Wollers. That is insane that we're seeing all these dupes. That is insane. Mark Wollers, Atlanta Braves, Sam P. That is your second Wollers. Two hankies, two Wollers. I will always need you. I like the Mark Wallers. We just want to spread it out a little bit. This uh, this show would be good for the uh, the Bratney's George Solar Never Heard of Her Award. Because you'll get some autos like that that you never heard of. And another Vladdy and Side Chick card. Elroy Face was the Pirates Auto. Very good, Spiff. You're right. Elroy Face. I remember it being uh, an old, you know, an old time player. It was kind of cool. Well, I want to believe that. Um, I want to believe that the second half of this case can be better than the first. Have not seen a case hit type of a card yet. So tuck that under your hat. Those of you in the know. Nate's in the chat. What's up, Nate? Good to see you, my dude. Oh, you know, we're just having some fun doing some archives. Dustin May, rookie, on the 55 edition. Dodgers, that's Andrew P. Three more packs to go in this break. We'll do a recap, and we will then turn our focus to 2019 Bowman Chrome. Be excited to do that one. And after that, the feeding frenzy, as always. Sounds like we're going to have our poopykins come up, help us out. Mauricio Dubon, rookie. And a Lubob. A little quiet in the last couple boxes, but he's come out again. This is number uh, four or five, I can't remember. I've, I've uh, top-loaded them all, so we'll do a little recap. We'll see how many Lubobs we ended up with. Last pack of the break. Stick around for the recap. And 20 minutes from now, our next show will go live. 2019 Bowman Chrome. Another AJ Puck for Jayqua. Probably number four or so, I would say. All right, let's do the fire song. We'll do a little recap and we'll get out of here. For our mini posters, start with these. Mr. Smile, Frankie Lindor. Jordan Alvarez, Air Jordan. It's the Duke, Duke Snyder. Showtime, Shohei Otani. And Mariano Rivera, the Sandman. As far as what we top loaded tonight, Tom Hinkey. Yes, Tom Hinkie again. 
George Kell to 75. The mini card, Frankie Lindor. Aaron Hicks to 25. John Stearns, auto from the Mets. Shane Spencer from the Yanks. Jesus Lazardo to 25. Mark Wallers, that was numbered to 150. Rich Gedman. Darren Erstad. Steve Finley. Ralph Kiner Mini. Rosario to 25. Manny Sanguian Auto. A second Mark Wallers. And as far as our Lubob count goes, we did end up with four. Three of these base and one of the 55s. So uh, not the worst we've ever seen, not the best. We're looking for better autos next time out. Still got some nice uh, Lubobs, got some nice numbered parallels, nice posters. We'll get this stuff packed up for you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. Again, we had Lou Brock on a stand tonight. He was the only one I was putting on a stand tonight. Rest in peace, Lou Brock. Legendary player, legendary Cardinal. Rest in peace, Mr. Brock. So thank you so much for being a part of the show. I want to send a special thank you to our Patreon members, the best mods in the business. We call them the Mod Squad. And to everyone that supports Chomp Slide Breaks, Cat's family, Bratney's family, Poop's family, and my family, we all say thank you. We appreciate you guys. Love you guys. We'll see you in 15 more minutes for 2019 Bowman Chrome. You've officially been chomped. Bye, kids.